Craig with Hattacore here. Today I'll show you how to assemble this adapter board used to break out any 2x4 header to standard breadboard footprint. It's really good for uh, an NRF 24L01 Plus module or an ESP module, uh, NRF module for example. It's hard to put the pins of an NRF module into a breadboard because they're too close to be able to make the gap jump in a breadboard. So these little adapters are made to make that conversion for us. So if you've received these modules and they came as like a strip like this or, or one or two or so linked together, what you have to do to break them apart is just grab one and snap it off. And then you'll need one of the two by four headers that should have come with your adapter. And you'll also need some male header pins and your adapter should come with these. Uh, there's a chance that it may come with a whole strip if you ordered uh, five or more. In that case, we recommend breaking them apart or cutting them off. We recommend something like using a diagonal cutter or we could use a flush cutter. I like to use a flush cutter just because you can get a nice clean cut between the different header pins. So we want to cut this so that we have four. And then we want to cut it again. so that we have two sets of one by four male headers, one of the two by four female headers, and the adapter board. And that's all we need other than the solder to assemble one of these adapters. So to make this easier, a tip that we would suggest is use something like a breadboard to actually assemble your adapter. Push the male header pins into your breadboard. You want one a gap of pin between the main breadboard gap and where you put the pins in. So as you can see here, and just so you can see, uh, we've got a gap on both sides. We did this design instead of making it jump just across the gap so that the board isn't too tipsy when you have an inner F or something plugged onto it. Uh, with the narrow design, we found that it's really easy to get to move out of the breadboard and the headers would slip out of it. So by making a little bit wider footprint, it makes it a little bit more sturdy. And it still leaves you room to run wires on both the outside and the insides of these headers. All right, so now we'll go ahead and we should assemble the two by four female header to the board first. It just makes it easier. Otherwise, when you go to solder that, you'll have the male header pins already in your way. So if we solder that now, we won't have that. So I'm gonna use some lead-free solder and I've got my iron set at around 230 Celsius. And we're just gonna go ahead and tack, we're gonna tack this square pad here first. Once you get that one soldered, you can take a look at the header and see if it's aligned the way you want it aligned on the board. If it has some angle now is the time to adjust it because you can easily just reflow this solder joint we did with your iron and adjust the header. And then once it cools, check to make sure it's lined up the way you want it again. This looks good, so we'll go ahead and we'll solder the rest of the pins on that header. And there we go. So I'm gonna quick make sure that I feel like I've got enough solder on each of these and they look good. So now that we have this part of the module assembled, let's take this adapter module and line it up with the header pins we have placed in the breadboard until they've come through. And then make sure it's nice and flat, that it's not at an angle uh, and that everything's resting nice and flat and square. Now we'll go ahead and we'll start to solder these header pins to the adapter. And then just to make sure that everything is square, I'll, I'll reflow that joint and I'll push on it with my finger. And that way, for instance, let's say that we had soldered this joint and the board was at an angle. Kind of hard to see here maybe, but as I reflow this joint, if I push on it, then everything will align up once that joint is reflowed. 
then I can let that cool and everything should now be aligned. So now we just need to solder the rest of these. All right, and that's it. We now have assembled our adapter. The Atacore BB-80TR adapter that we've assembled here, you can find at atacore.com. We hope that you enjoyed and that it works well for any two x four header module or device that you're using.